You see, we know, we may not know the why of things that happen, and sometimes we don't. And sometimes we won't understand why these things happen until two or three years down the road. We may not know why those things happen in our lives, but it is enough to know that God is in charge of everything and anything that happens in my life, I know God's in charge. Amen? That gives me comfort. Sometimes I might not understand it, but it still gives me comfort. If you get any books by Andrew Murray, buy them. He's a, he was a great man of God. Andrew Murray said, was said to say in times of trouble, listen to this, this is great advice. Anytime he was in trouble, anytime the trials and tribulations came into his life, and he had many of them. This was his formula. He said, number one, first say, he brought me here, it is by his will, I am in this straight place, and in that I will rest. Did you catch that? First thing he brought, God brought him there. It was his will. And I will rest in that. Next, he said, he will keep me here in his love. Give me grace in this trial to behave as his child. Then say, he will make the trial a blessing, teaching me the lessons he intends me to learn, and working in, the gra working in me the grace he means to bestow. And last, I am here by God's appointment in his keeping under his training for his time. Man, that, that, yeah, that's quite a, that, what a heart, huh? When I came across that in his book, I cried. Cause I said, "Lord, boy, I tell you what, some of the trials and tribulations I've been through, I, I didn't have this, I didn't have that testimony." So when a trial comes, we must acknowledge, that, "Lord, you brought this trial to me. It's your will. I'm in this place, so I'm going to rest in that right now." And then, I'm gonna, and then you're going to keep me in your love. You're going to give me the grace so I can behave like a child of God in this trial. And this trial is a blessing in my life. And I'm going to, you're going to teach me some lessons. I'm going to learn them. And you're going to work grace in my life. And I'm here by your appointment. Therefore, you're going to keep me. And you're going to train me through this. Man. I'm glad I'm not Andrew Murray. Well, that's true. Yeah. We, we, we so, yeah. Yep. And then when it happens, then what do we do? You, you, you apply these principles, you're going to be all right. All right? So, since God determines the future, he controls the future and brings all things to pass to fulfill his will. It's just the way it is. Amen? And sometimes when we get into circumstances, we wonder how God's going to deliver. We just wonder. Listen to this story. True story. A little boy in Fort Payne, Alabama had a brain tumor, severe brain tumor. It was such a rare form of brain tumor that the only doctor in the world that had experienced treating it lived in Asia. Their family could not afford to take the little boy to Asia. In fact, he had lived in the U.S. They still couldn't have afforded the surgery. They couldn't afford this doctor. The family, the friends, their church all prayed for the little fellow as he grew sicker and sicker. The boy's dad worked at a Ford dealership in Fort Payne. One day, a well-dressed man stopped at the Ford place. 
This dad began to talk with him, and when the customer introduced himself, his last name was the same as the doctor in Asia that could operate on the boy. When the dad heard the name, he broke down and began to weep. He was thinking of his little boy who was dying. The customer was more than a little surprised at the man's reaction to his name. The dad apologized for breaking down, and then he told the man his story. To his surprise, the man before him was that doctor. He learned that the doctor was moving from Asia to practice medicine at the University of Alabama in Birmingham. He promised the dad that as soon as he completed his move from Asia to Birmingham, he would perform the little boy's surgery and not only that, it would be free of charge. Now let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Do you think it was an accident that, that a doctor from Asia was moving to the U.S., pulled into a Ford dealership in Fort Payne, Alabama, and began talking with the dad of a little boy dying? Absolutely not. There wasn't an accident. The God who knows all things, controls all things. Amen. Amen? Amen? That's what I love about the knowledge of God. So, it's very, very important. Amen? Trust in the knowledge of God. He knows what he's doing. Amen? All right, any questions?